Welcome back. In this video, I'll teach you how to read the graphs of modes of inheritance. This is arguably one of the most, if not the most important subjects for your genetic study. So let's break it down. Let's start off with some basics. This will be the graph that you will see in your exam. In this graph, circles are females and squares are males. This line represents the first generation and this line represents the second generation this one represents the third generation, and the last two are the fourth and fifth generation. As you can see, some of those circles are white. And the white ones mean that this patient or this person is either a carrier or a healthier individual. And some are black, like this one, which means that this patient is diseased and is suffering from symptoms. So in short, circles means females, squares means males, White means unaffected or a carrier. Dark means diseased. Let's start off with the autosomal dominant diseases. The rule is, if one parent is affected, 50% of offsprings will be affected as well. This represents a graph with no skipping. So as you can see here, the father is affected in the first generation. And every subsequent generation has at least one person affected. So again, no skipping, means no generation is skipped. Every generation has a disease. Here are all of the autosomal dominant diseases for your step one exam. The rule for autosomal recessive diseases is that two parents has to be affected or at least two parents have to be carriers, which results in 50% carrier offsprings 25% affected, and 25% healthy. In the graph, we see skipping, so some generations are completely free of diseases, and we usually see one parent affected, not two. Here are all the autosomal recessive diseases for your step one exam. For X-linked dominant diseases, the rule is as follows. All mothers have two copies of X chromosome. And if both copies are damaged, we call this heterozygous. If only one copy is damaged, we call this homozygous. Now for X-linked dominant diseases with heterozygous mothers, 50% of all offsprings will be affected. And if the father is affected with X-linked dominant disease, all daughters will be affected. In X-linked dominant diseases, we also see no skipping. All generations have at least one person affected. And here are all the X-linked dominant diseases for your step 1 exam. And finally, for X-linked recessive diseases, if the mother was heterozygous for the disease, 100% of all boys will be affected. The hallmark for the graph is skipping but there is no male-to-male -male inheritance. So in other words, if you ever see a graph with two successive generations of both males affected, this is usually not X-linked recessive. Remember, X-linked recessive, no male-to-male -male transmission. And here are the X-linked recessive diseases. And finally, let's end this with a quiz. So try to name the mode of inheritance for the following diseases. And here are the answers. Alright guys, that's everything I've got. Hopefully I made this easier for you. Thanks a ton for watching and I'll see you guys later.